now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. I'm Alex, and this is the Ramble. That's New York City below you, and that's where we're coming from. Ladies and gentlemen, guess who we have here? You know, we we have been stalling playing her things for a couple of weeks now, uh, on and off, and parceling them out slowly because you were gone. I thought you were going to be gone for a month. Lori Thompson, by the way. I thought you were going to be gone for a month. Next trip, that we're going to Lisbon on the 19th, and we'll be gone for a month. I got confused. But, no, we were gone for three weeks on this one. So it was not, it was, and it was event-centric. So, yeah, Carnival was just amazing. I'm so glad I went because I've always wanted to. And I brought you back a little souvenir. <laughs> this was, of course, you wouldn't have been able to find me because everybody else was wearing these, too. Right. And. It was, it was just, it was like Mardi Gras, but not as much public drunkenness and more nudity, if you can believe that. Well, you went down to Rio de Janeiro. Yes. Which mm -hmm. is considered kind of dangerous. It were, is. Were In you, fact, were, there were, were areas, were, one called uh, Boca, Boca, I think, that, uh, La Boca, that they didn't, they took the hotel told us, do not go. And he said, well, we're going to go in the daytime. They said, do not go. So... I, we didn't go except with a big group. He went the next day, and yeah, I don't think you should take chances. I didn't wear any jewelry when we went out, and you know there's 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 vanity and then there's stupidity, and so yeah. I just try to veer away from the latter. Yeah, but, it was yeah. It did it still have a good tourist population during Carnival, even though oh, yeah. everybody's oh. saying stay away from Rio de Janeiro? Yeah, it's mobbed. I think they you know they've been saying that for a while. And people have gotten to process it on their own. Like, well, what is danger? Is that just a newspaper headline, danger? Or is it real danger? Am I going to get, you know, a, uh, attacked and, and mugged if I take my camera? Yeah, just don't do anything obvious. Don't do any indications that you have stuff they want. Yeah. Because yeah. it is poverty, I think, that leads to pickpocketry. It's a yeah. direct Yeah. So, I mean, it, you didn't feel a sense of danger there when you were there. No, and uh, plus, I, Rick and I were always together, and I do think that your chance of getting mugged is less with two people, with two even people. if they're, we're not big people. Or, or maybe they look at you and go, huh, double the take. You know? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> they, yeah. They got double the stuff. Okay, let's get them both, you know. Yeah, make her tie them up. That'll occupy her for a while. I wonder what the reason is for that crime down there. I guess it's the poverty. I, there's I an, think it there's is. a level of poverty in Rio de Janeiro that you, as a tourist, usually are not seeing. But right. It's a there's some very there, there are miles and miles of shacks. You know. The yeah, shanty towns. What they call them. The, the I think those are called bocas. Yeah. Anyway, no, no, no. Favelas. 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 favelas, favelas, yes. Favelas. You know where I learned that from? There was a movie years ago uh, called uh, 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 Black Orpheus. Uh huh. Do you ever remember a movie Black I Orpheus? Remember, yeah. I remember the title, but I don't think I ever it saw it. It takes place in Carn. It's the old Orpheus myth told in, in, among blacks in Rio de Janeiro during uh, the uh, 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 what do you call it? The Mardi Gras. Carnival. Thing. Carnival. Yeah, Carnival. Yeah. And, and uh, it is, it, they show the poorer people living there and they, yeah. miles and miles of shacks and so on. But it was, that's where Bossa Nova came from, that movie. It was okay. the first time anybody ever heard it. Yeah. And uh, it, was a, it was a beautiful film if you ever get a chance to see it. And one of the most memorable films I think I've ever seen. And it was all about that. You know, them, they were getting ready for Carnival and they had their costumes and they were going to go and dance and da da da, and you know, that. Um, and it is, I mean, the whole town takes off, you know, not just, and I didn't, like I say, I didn't see as much public drunkenness at Carnival as I have observed the last two times I went to Mardi Gras. 
Mm-hmm. And I don't know if that's because I don't drink anymore, but uh, it was it was just celebration. I didn't mm-hmm. notice. Well, they things. live for that. They live for that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a year round look forward. It's to. also a time of the year where the poor create uh, costumes and and masks and so on. And they then have a certain leveling with the rich people. Yes. You know, there's yeah. there's no distinction. Once you've got the mask on and the costume, there's no distinguishing between the wealthy and the poor. Yes, which is a great concept. In fact, Truman Capote supposedly used that, um, used that principle as the reason for his black and white ball, which is now turned into a TV. I think it's on Hulu, though. Oh, yeah, I don't yeah, have. yeah. They did a whole thing about... The Truman and the uh, Swans, as they call so, them. Yes. Yeah. And the cast is good. I think yeah. uh, Diane Lane's in it. And yeah. I think she's great. Yeah, because that, that's interested me quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, it, it, it uh, uh, is, uh, these are wonderful little, you know, parties that they have. It's just right before Lent. Yeah, right. Exactly. Right before you got to cut everything off. And yeah. there are these things called, I think they're called, Oh, anyway, little little pop up. They're basically pop up carnivals in the neighborhoods. Oh, really? And so, yeah, like you'll be driving along. We hired a driver just to because we don't know our way around Rio. And he said we'll have to stop a few times because of these spontaneous neighborhood carnivals. Wow. And so that was even I like that even more because you just got you just got to be face to face with the joy and the wow. and the celebration. Well, you you're you you married good, you know. He's ta- <laughs> he likes. He's taking you to a lot of places. Yeah, well, he, we like to travel. Like on our first coffee date, um, we bonded on that, and so we yeah we go. I cannot complain. We mm-hmm. go a lot of fun places. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and it's the airports, Ben. The airports of almost. If I was going to be discouraged away from travel, one culprit. The airports, the lines in uh, Rio were just mind blowing, absolutely mind blowing. I mean, no, was it Rio or it was, yeah, it was Rio, no, Buenos Aires. In Buenos, Buenos Aires, Aires, the airport is just, uh, it's just a mess. Yeah, air travel is not what it used to be. Well, if you like feeling yeah. like cattle, yeah. it's, you know. Well, I thought you were going that down there by ship, but I guess you weren't. Oh, I didn't know. <laughs> so that, then you're going to go to Lisbon in Portugal, and you're doing that uh-huh. for a month. So we're going to have to do three of these at once before you oh, go. We'll do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm game. And yeah, we uh, that will be that will be a treat. Essentially, back to back cruises. So we uh, we have seen people, we've experienced people doing that before. We're like, are you leaving tomorrow? No, we're staying on to Antarctica. Some friends of ours were. But there are a lot Do of not go to Antarctica. I told them. I told them what you advised that. No, and, uh, no, who advised me don't go to uh, 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 My friend Shecky before he died. Said, I'm going to Antarctica. How long are you going to be gone? I'm going to be gone for a month. Okay. Well, you're going down to Antarctica. Okay, good. Goes to Antarctica. Begin with something happened and he fell or whatever and he had to be taken off the ship by helicopter to a hospital at the tip of, uh, of uh, in Peru, I think. Uh, uh, but he he was okay. But prior uh-huh. to that, they did get down to Antarctica. He got to see that, <laughs> and he got off. He has a uh, actually a selfie of he and some penguins in back of him. And, but his advice, his, posse. his I said that that must have been a great trip. He said, "Let me give you a piece of advice: never go to Antarctica." I said, "Why?" It looks great. You got the penguins, you got the ice flows and all of that. And he said, there's nothing worse than a million penguins shitting. Yeah, he said, I can the understand. Smell, the smell is overwhelming because it's desiccated fish. Right, yeah. It's just like the, the garbage dump at a red lobster. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to go? Yeah, yeah. Well, we had some people that were staying at the Marriott, and they were really ticked because they had booked an Antarctica cruise, and it suddenly got canceled. They just took it. That was the reason they were going. That was the reason they booked. And they just took Antarctica off the itinerary and didn't say anything. They Mm -hmm. didn't explain to the people. And I think as long as you explain, 
it wasn't because of rough seas. It wasn't because of, you know, temperature. It's always cold. Yeah. But they were, they were, I think that she was going to start a movement. Yeah. Uh, something on the Internet to complain about our canceled Antarctica. Yeah, well, you know, I mean, um, I, uh, so, we, I mean, we're still waiting for this money to come through. I hope yeah. I live to see it at this point. <laughs> Uh, because uh, and, and Marjorie is, isn't getting much better. I mean, her health is kind of not great. And I would like to get this money so we can start taking some trips. We're just going to yeah. like one trip after another, you know. Right. Go crazy, go nuts now. You know, one of the things we want to do is maybe get a get a house in uh, Italy for a week or two. That would weeks. be the way to go, man. That would be. That's great. one because you know we're not as movable as we used to be. And you get a chef. And the other is some, yeah, chef, yeah. We can afford that if we ever see this money. And um, and this is how Shecky would have wanted us to spend it. You yes, know? he loved travel. He loved yeah, traveling, and it's a way of honoring him. That's uh, a great one. But the thing is that uh, if we don't see it soon, I mean, Marjorie is, uh, you know, I, I I hope she's good enough to you know to do whatever. I think I can walk if I have to, you know. Yeah. I, don't, I don't go out much, but uh, I, I can I can walk several miles at a time if I have to. Yeah. Well, yeah. the mobility is a it's a sticky issue because there are certain things about your my mobility that you notice that aren't quite, you know, what they used to be. Oh. And yeah. then. There are certain things taking place in your whole uh, mobility. Well, I don't know what my body isn't working because I never used it before. <laughs> so, you know. But why start? <laughs> why start but, now? Yeah. No, but, but so so been... we've thought about, she doesn't like the idea of a big cruise because she doesn't like yeah. the idea of 10,000 people on a goddamn ship and the ship's going and you don't even notice you're on a ship because you look like you're in a mall. You know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, but so Norwegian is smaller, and Azamara smaller, under seven hundred. Yeah, yeah, and and yeah. we, you know, also these these uh, uh, what do you call them? These kind of the things that go down the Danube and so on. These flat boats. Uh, we took one. Yeah, but it wasn't a flat boat. It was just a small line called Avalon. Small oh. cruise. They they did river cruises in Europe. Yeah, yeah. And but she doesn't good. want. She doesn't want. She she prefer to have no more than 500 people and I said well that's hard to find you know it is but see occasionally you'll get one of these 700 or under and it'll be a light cruise you know there were only I think there were 570 something on our cruises to pastime yeah. Yeah. and usually they, they can carry 700 but they don't always right you know, just right yeah but I mean but, yeah, but, uh, but uh, you know so she doesn't want I mean I wouldn't mind trying one of those big cruises just for the hell of it the icon of the seas. Yeah, that so, one's a big just deal. Uh, just for the fun of it to see what they're about. Uh huh. Uh, because we got kind of fuck you money, so why not? You know. <laughs> As well. Um. But Marjorie won't do it. She just won't do it. She's uh, And I said, even just for the adventure, just like a seven day one, you know, and we we try it and and see what it's like. I know we'd both probably hate it. Yeah. See, I think I would hate, like, to be on Margaritaville cruise, to me, would be Hades. It would be hell. I wouldn't, I can't, I can't imagine I that. Can, I, as I say, I won't go on any ship that has a Ferris wheel. Okay, yeah. you know? <laughs> I mean, to begin with, what, the, I, what got me is they have, one of these ships has a water park. You know, yeah. A water yeah. park with water slides and everything. And I'm going, you're on a ship. Isn't a water park redundant? Yeah. <laughs> you know, right. it, it, do you really need a, a, a slip and slide water slide? Can't you just have a slide that maybe goes off the ship and into the water, and then you kind of have an entrance at the bottom you can get back in? You yeah. Know. And well, people take a concept and then they just go way overboard. Well, you better put one on the side, say water slide, and anybody who takes it winds up in the ocean. You leave them behind. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for the note. Thanks for the deposit. Yeah, right. Okay, the backstroke. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we, you know, in Florida, we see lots of uh, seafaring crafts, and one was just a pontoon boat that you rent for the day, and it was it had three water slides, 
on just this pontoon boat, roughly the size of, you know, my backyard, I guess, but my deck. And uh, so it's like, what do you, what could you possibly need with three water slides? How many families are going in on this that support three water slides? On a, well, see, that, that's, it, that's what I don't get, okay? I just don't get it. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't. It seems like marketing as opposed to actual fun. Yeah. And I think that goes on a lot. That's why uh, you, if you have some in your family, if you have time to do research on cruise lines and join some of these groups, that's mm -hmm. what Ricky does. He belongs to about five of them. And you learn a lot by their misadventures. Right. You know, and so that's, yeah. that's a good way to research what you want. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, I, I, uh, uh, it, it's a matter of if I had my the money and I wanted to waste it I think I might try one of those things like the icon of the seas and yeah get, you know and get a big enough uh, stateroom or uh, you know or cabin that if I don't want to go on the rest of the ship I can just stay in the cabin and out on yeah. the deck you know that's a nice and get a nice veranda or you know yeah. uh, one with a view you can you and Marjorie can sit out and play with your iPads that's what um yeah I, I do like I do like room. The rooms that we get, the veranda rooms, and they're okay, but it would be, I'd like one that was about twice the size of that. It's the bathrooms. I mean, when we were talking about this uh, world cruise, I said, do I really want to shower in a two and a half by three foot space for half a year? Yeah. And that there are some things it sounds a lot more glamorous than I think the actual day to day will be. But yeah. now we'll you're see. taking a world. Uh, uh, how many day? How many months will that cruise be? Five. Will you be able to call us and stuff? I'll try. Yeah, I think so. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is do some research before I leave for that. It's not for another several months, maybe a, almost a year, but mm -hmm. for the world cruise. But yeah, I'll find out. So the thing was, I just thought. Um, I'd be able to cook, hook up to regular Wi-Fi there, which you can't at all, and it's just very involved. I would, yeah, I will try. I think I can figure out between now and then how to how to call you, and we could do a Zoom. Yeah, yeah. I will. I will definitely research um, that. But you know, I don't know if I would want to take a five-month cruise. See, I'm on the fence still about it, but we can't get our money back now, so I guess I'm sliding off the fence. So where where does this five month cruise go it goes every port everywhere singapore the hawaiian islands um greece just everywhere so it I mean, literally uh, circumnavigates the globe pretty much and are you yeah. on one ship doing this no yes we are yes we are because that's that, that, that was another concern of mine the thing that's fun about cruising i have a lot of reservations against cruising but it was for old people like Am I going to get on this ship and suddenly like shuffle? Well, board? you're getting there. I know. <laughs> you're yeah. getting there. And, and then you find like-minded people when you're on the cruise, you know, that that uh, don't think Domino's five hours a day is a real <laughs> fun activity. And you find people, and then they have a lot of trivia. And I love music trivia. So they have that. And excursions, you know, the excursions, you choose the ones that you want to do. Like, uh, we went to Christ the Redeemer Church when we were in, I think that was in Rio. Might have been in Buenos Aires. But uh, I, I seem to fall a lot. If there are cobblestones, you fall. I'm used to American pavements. And what I did, I rolled my ankle several years ago, my left ankle. And if it hits something just right, it will actually throw me to the ground. And I've kind of gotten used to it, but... That you ought to see a doctor about that because as you get older, I mean, like, you know, I've got this problem with falling, so I'm very careful now. I'm afraid of falling because yeah. my, my, my equilibrium is not what it used to be. And if you're falling, it's only going to get worse. Right. And if you do it a few times, it really starts to affect your confidence. Oh, in your and I, I took this major fall. My knee still hurts me to this day. I still have to go get cortisone shots for it. And I am afraid to walk. I really yeah, am, but, you know, I know because I'm really. just one cobblestone away or one crack in the in the sidewalk from a major fall. And at my age, when you fall, it's strange. 
I could take a fall like I took when I was 30, okay? In fact, mm-hmm. I did once. And if a, a couple of weeks my leg hurt and that was it. Okay? Yes. Boom. You're healed. This thing's taking forever to heal. Forever. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. so your fear of falling gets worse because when you fall, it's much more traumatic. I mean, they say, you know, they talk about people who, who die because they broke a hip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Know, that, that breaking a hip is the first decline in your health that takes right, you down a never ending to spiral towards death. And I'm going, yeah. you know, a hip? Come on. <laughs> you break a hip, you fix it, right? It affects everything. Yeah. I don't. I'm okay with the hips, but you can also get. Boy, is this? Uh, a, are we two old people talking now? One <laughs> slightly older than the other, I might add. Is you're what? You're you're 62 now. You said 60, 63. 63. Mm-hmm. So you're yeah. you're 20 years younger than I am. I, yeah, yeah, I guess. So what I'm uh, telling you, well, all that I'm telling you, uh, is uh, something you have to look forward to. Yes, thank you so. And, you know, I'll and, and also the fact, the other thing, people, that you have to look forward to when you get to be my age is every time you go to the doctor, if they even see slight, anything slightly suspicious, something mm-hmm. they would have just passed over if you were 30, 40, 50, yeah. they now send you to a specialist. <laughs> yeah, before when you're younger. I, had, you I just told you before, try. I had a blood test that was off. And my doctor said it might be leukemia. It might be a form of leukemia called CLL, which is chronic. That's what the C is for. And it's it's probably you probably live with this. You know, this is just something you live with. This is not something you die from. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, I said uh, I said to myself, you know, 20 years ago, 25 years ago, he would have never sent me to the specialist. He would no. just waited for the next blood test next year. Mm-hmm. You know, see if, if it improved or whatever, or ask for another blood test. Today, they immediately send you to the specialist. So I'm now going to a neuropathy specialist and a hematologist and a, 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 all kinds of ologists, <laughs> you know? Yeah, and it's, um, and you never know, like when you were young, we were younger and something happened, we were like, oh, that'll be fine in two days. But now when something, it doesn't go away. Something hurts, it doesn't go away. You you know what the strange thing is? You know what they don't want to do if you're my age? Surgery? Put you out. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, they got to put me out for everything. Well, no, I won't, you know, they want to do a, if they want to do a bone marrow thing, I'm sorry, you got to put me out. I'm I'm not. Yeah. You know, but they don't like to put you out because when I went to go get my seeds and my prostate and stuff, uh-huh. Normally they put you out, right? Give you a little yeah. propofol, you go, Bleh. you know. I know what Michael Jackson said. They liked. said, uh, because of your age, we don't want to give you the, uh, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the uh, sleepy potion. Yeah. Uh, the bus- we're, we're going to, they did a spinal tap. Oh, a wow. Spinal. Now, do those hurt no, like crazy? No, no, not at all. Not at all. They you just feel like they put something on your back and then all of a sudden they do something. And the next thing you know, you're a paraplegic. <laughs> I have a friend who's a paraplegic, and I went, you know, I know what it's like now. You know, I, I was a paraplegic for about three hours. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it, when I woke, when I got out of the, when I got into recovery, they wouldn't let me go till I could walk, and I, it was so frustrating because I was dead from the waist down. Yeah, and you're telling your legs walk to the door. And they're not doing anything. They're not cooperating. Yeah. That would be a freak. I mean, it, what a frustrating feeling that is. Yeah. Well, is it, uh, this is this is really two old people talking, isn't it? <laughs> well, let's let's a youth it up. Well, man. we don't have any young listeners anyway, so you know. <laughs> I don't know. They might be sneaking I, in. As I said, they should think of me as the Sacagawea of their future. <laughs> That's it. Maybe they're tuning in for our wisdom. Well, you know, the, the bad wisdom. news is that you get all these things when you're eight, when you're 84. You start getting all these things. Uh, that's the bad news. The good news is you live to be 84. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking. I'm looking at people around me dropping dead and going. Yeah. I'm still here. That is weird. When you look in uh, look in the obituaries, I get my hometown obituaries, and when you see that someone someone you went to school with goes, it's kind of a 
mind blowing. Well, we got to go here, but we should think of this for the next discussion. Could it be a chance that I am dead and don't know it? Oh, more for the next time. I, I got some thoughts uh, on that. The next time we'll talk about that. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, there she is, the lovely and attractive. You know her, you love her, uh, you uh, watch her here. Uh, Lori Thompson. <laughs> Bye, Lori. Fun voyage. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Lori. Yeah, I did something here that screwed me over here for a moment. Uh, hello, everybody. How are you? Ah, let's see. Uh, it's it's um, uh, Wednesday, and uh, we are going to get you joining us in a moment here. Um Gee almighty. So anyway, so uh, I, I had a, I got to tell you, uh, what's happening in medicine today drives me nuts. <laughs> okay. So I have this thing where they think I may have uh, a form of leukemia. My doctor said he thinks I may have CLL, which is a chronic form of leukemia that you could have for years and years and years and never need treatment. Uh, or it could be so bad that you do need treatment right now. I've had none of the symptoms where you need treatment. So I'm thinking that if it is CLL that I've got, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's quite uh, treatable. It's not even treatable. They just don't do anything. They just sit and watch. And every six months they have you come in, draw some blood, ask you about what's going on, feel you up, you know, for lymph nodes and so on, and then send you on your merry way until you come back another six months, until one day they say, hey, you're, you're not in great shape. But I don't have any of the symptoms. I don't have night sweats. I don't have a fever. I uh, don't have, I, there are a whole bunch of different uh, symptoms, and I don't have any of them. So chances are, if that's what I have. Okay, well anyway, the point is, so I got, my, my doctor says, uh, here, go see this person. Okay, over at Mount Sinai. All right, so I call the doctor up, and they say, uh, "Well, we can't uh, we can't schedule you unless we see your um, your numbers and so on and so forth, and the blood tests that your doctor gave in his notes." And I go, "Okay." So I call over to my doctor. And I say, "Send it over to their fax machine," and they don't get it. And then they send it about five times, and they don't get it. And I think three times I gave them the wrong fax number just goes on and on and I'm thinking don't, remember the days when you call a doctor and you say I need an appointment because I've been referred to you by doctor so and so that they immediately give you an appointment you know sure come on down let's test you out let's give you some blood tests on our own and let's see what you got here but no he's got to look at it to see that there's maybe some chance you've got something so today I finally get a call from them saying uh, can you, um, or yes, was it yesterday or was it today? Oh, no, it was today. Yeah. I got a call this morning. That's why I'm so tired. I woke up at 9 o'clock and uh, after only about seven hours sleep, and I always need my eight. Anyway, the point is they called me and said that the doctor will uh, see you on the 11th. Okay, so now I get to get, go see him, which means they think there's a chance I may have, you know, something. But my doctor feels it's probably CLL, and, and every indication is that's probably what it is, if it is anything. Uh, and I, I, it, this is the kind of thing they said, you don't, it's not that you die from it, that you die with it and not from it, okay? So this is one of those kind of things that if all of a sudden I start showing symptoms, they have all new medicines they can give you and so on. They're very expensive medicines, <laughs> but... They're medicines nonetheless, and they can uh, save your life for a while. So, anyway, I, you know, I'm not, I'm worried about it only because I worry about these things, but uh, I probably shouldn't worry that much about it. Um, however, however, uh, we did uh, today uh, lose an old friend of mine, somebody I knew years ago when he used to do my show in San Francisco, and I love the guy dearly because he, just a sweet guy, okay, great guy, named Richard Lewis. Um, Richard has been um, suffering from, uh, let's see, what was it, from Parkinson's disease, 
And uh, but that isn't what killed him, or maybe it is. I don't know. But, or complications from that. But uh, he died today or yesterday um, from a heart attack. From, uh, so he had a heart attack and he died, and uh, it's sad because he, it's, you know, nice guy should have been able to live to be ninety. Okay, because he deserved it. But he hasn't been well in the past couple of years. So with what the what, with the Parkinson's and a few other things. So anyway, sorry to see him go. And um, so that made me feel about, better about the fact that I'm 84. And if tomorrow they say you're going to die in a year from this thing, I guess I I've lived a good life, you know, compared to some other people I know. But supposedly uh, they have they one guy one doctor said that I, on these because I go to I I go to YouTube to look it up. And by the way, my doctor said to me, he said, here's what I think you have. He said, you probably have uh, the chronic blah, 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 leukemia. I can't remember what the, what's the, what's the center word on it? I didn't write it down here. Uh, chronic lymphatic leukemia, okay, CLL. He said, that's what I think you've got. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm suspecting you might have. So go see this doctor. By the way, to show you, though, how things really get screwed up, my doctor says to me, uh, listen, here's a doctor for you to go see, blah, 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 blah. And he gives me the phone number, and it looks familiar. And I said, what doctor do I ask for there? And he said the name, and it put a chill down my spine because it was this doctor, you know, who gave me all these tests, like 30 of them, and didn't call me back to say how the tests turned out. Now, I assume that if he had seen the same things that my doctor saw in my blood test, he would have called me. But if he didn't, I'm going to sue, okay? Because, I mean, this doctor stalled off me, stalled me off uh, for a while. So I don't know. Anyway, that's doctors today. You can't even trust doctors anymore, you know? And now I have this new doctor, and I look him up, and, oh, there are some wonderful things on... Uh, uh, Zap Docs or whatever the, the name of the thing is, uh, where they said this guy's terrific. He's really wonderful. He's a compassionate, wonderful person, and you know. But you don't know, you know. And every doctor's got his degrees up on the wall, so you can't. You know, you're not saying to yourself, "Well, I guess he doesn't have any degrees," but that doesn't prove anything because really, if you're a doctor and you got a degree on the wall, that means you got 70% of the questions correct. Think about that. If you don't have to get 100% to be a doctor, then what did he fail? And it doesn't say on that plaque, oh, failed kidney, you know, or anything like that. So I, I, I've gotten to the point where I don't trust doctors anymore, so I'm gonna have to, I'm, I figure I'm auditioning this guy. If he makes me feel good and he makes me feel positive and I walk out not fe uh, feeling slightly better than I did when I walked in the door uh, emotionally, then I will, you know, I'll go keep going seeing him. But if I don't, I'm just getting another doctor, you know, and I'll keep doctor shopping until I drop dead because nobody gave me the proper diagnosis. So anyway, that's my story of my life, folks. Story of my life. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I'll be here all week. Anyway, let's, uh, I think it's time for us to, uh, uh, let's see here, I bring in some of these people here. So let me admit them all. There aren't very many people anymore. What the hell is this all about? But John Ewing is here, who is a, a newcomer. He, now he's, he's, he's home today. Uh, hello, John. How are you? Oh, are you there, John? Yes, sir. Oh, yes, I am. Okay, good. I just want to make sure we could hear you. And uh, there's uh, there's Charlie Wallace, the hey. effervescent Charlie Wallace. His T-shirt sells today. I agree with you, but then again, we'd both be wrong. Are you there, John? Yes, yes sir. Uh, oh, sir. Oh, 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 yes, oh, 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 okay, John, turn down your uh, your audio. And, uh, there's, uh, there's oh, okay, sorry, man. Because you're 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 watching on the uh, there we there. Are we gone? Yeah, there we go. Now we're fine. What happens is people listen to us using the uh, their browser. Oh, wait Sorry, man, I'm a get fossil. Just get rid of your browser. 
Uh, just get started. rid of the browser. No, not not your picture, your browser. The, the, the browser. What you, you were watching on before. What you were watching that. on, what you were watching the show on, Sorry, man, just I'm get rid of that. Okay? Sorry, man. I'll have to come back. No, no, you don't have to come back. Just kill the, your browser. But I'm an antique with this stuff. Yeah, but no, you have a browser. That's the thing you were watching the show on before we came on, right? Sorry, man. I got to go, bro. Okay. Alex, Alex, you're, you're the only one being seen on the... I know, I know. I just suddenly realized that as soon as I saw you were going to say something to me. I know that's what it was going to be. There we go. Anyway, anyway. What is it? Uh, so uh, we, I, I'd agree with you, but then again, we'd both be wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Great T-shirts. Hello, uh, Brian. Hello. And hello, Alan. Hello, Alex. How are you doing? I'm uh, doing fine. Thank you. You know. I heard your first half hour. Did you? And your mon and your monologue before you got on tonight. That's yeah. a first. When he's bragging about it, you know. Yeah. You know, usually he never does. He usually never does. <laughs> That's not true. I, I like listening. Hey, to you, you, Lori and Bubbles. The you, other, oh, the other one. No, okay. But usually you would come on right now and say, "Oh, Alex, did you hear Richard Lewis died?" And he just. <laughs> <laughs> no, That's how you are. Actually, it, I don't it, even know. I didn't even know until just now who Richard Lewis was. We're not complaining. Uh, We're just wait a minute. You don't know who Richard Lewis is? Oh my God! I went. I wow. went to. I went to Miami, and there was a guy who looked and acted just like him. And we actually we partied that night, a few of us together. But the guy, I used to call him Richard all night because he looked like Richard Lewis, and he had the wine and, and the, the complaining. It was so funny. <laughs> well, he used to do my show in San Francisco quite often, and I, I think I had him once on once <clears throat> on uh, uh, Sirius XM, but I'm not sure. I don't remember. Where is he from? Yeah, uh, New York. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Hey, you yeah. didn't know that, Brian? Uh, no. Anyway, so uh, um, and he he was just the nicest guy, just yeah. just terrific. Everybody everybody loved Richard, and um, he was on. Uh, do you ever watch Curb Your Enthusiasm, uh, Alan? No, never heard of it. Yeah. You never heard. <laughs> you never heard of Curb. You heard of Seinfeld? Yes. Okay. Well, then you're. Partially well, there. you're close because uh, <laughs> I've only watched Steinfeld once, so there you go. Uh, Steinfeld, not Steinfeld, I'm not Steinfeld. Yeah, Steinfeld, whatever. <laughs> have another drink, Brian. <laughs> you said that. You got be... the one that sounds like he's been drinking. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Charlie. Steinfeld. Steinfeld. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna watch this season. I've never watched that, but I love Seinfeld, and I know all of the, every episode by heart. Wait, but what, I, I'm, I'm gonna watch this at, this year. It just started, right? This season. What? Curb? I only watched it for a yeah, night. Curb. You don't watch Curb? No, and I love Seinfeld. Well, I, I if watch. you love Seinfeld, I did not watch Curb. What? <laughs> you can't That's have okay, Curb. Brian. I never heard of that either. So, <laughs> Curb. Yeah, Curb. What's the rest of it? Curb your enthusiasm. <laughs> uh, yeah. How many seasons is this? This, this is, is the what season? Oh, this is, I think, the 12th. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, my God. You got a yeah. lot of catching up to do. If you love Seinfeld, you will yeah. love Curb Your Enthusiasm yeah. because it's the same sense of humor. Because Larry David wrote almost yeah. every episode for seven seasons of Seinfeld. Yeah. You know? And... Um, I saw one little quick thing on a reel and it looked really funny. It yeah. was a, yeah. It, it's very funny. But uh, yeah, I think kind of this season, I don't know, I'm, I guess I'm getting tired of him being a constant bitch. You know, a, a person who constantly bitches, you know. Whoa, um, you got to be careful there. No, no, we're talking about the, the character on Curb Your oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we're not talking about me. Oh. Although if you want to talk about me, it'll be welcomed, okay? Because I love. I think I have a feeling you'll be fine. Yeah, I have a feeling you don't have leukemia. So we only have four people tonight. Woohoo! Yeah. Okay. Woohoo! Yeah. 
there might be more. I thought I thought the the new guy was coming in when well, I. Well, he was, but he was he, there for he, a second. he looks like yeah, Phil. Well, Don't tell me he is... doesn't look like Phil. I, I took a picture of him, and I'm going to put it up next to Phil, and I'll send it to the group. Anyway, the thing is, he did a Phil tonight. He called up, and he, the audio was on. Now, folks, if you call this program, and you've been watching us on the internet, okay. Whatever you're watching us on, kill it before you you know you go on. In other words, shut it off. Yeah, shut it going. off. Okay, let's see if John did better now. Here comes John. There he and is. There he is. Uh, and, is that John or Phil? Uh, that's really. John. Hold on a second. Are we hearing what? audio? Internet. Okay. Yes, what? we're hearing audio. Uh, kill it. Just Before, your yeah, browser, you know, the thing with the picture on it, not not the not the uh, not the I'm zoom. Sorry, guys. Not Better the man. zoom. Listen to me. Not the zoom. The browser is where the audio is coming through. Well, it doesn't sound like it's coming through now. No, 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 oh, yeah. no, yes, it is. I'm wrecking it. Sorry, man. But the yeah, audio... are you, how are you getting on Zoom? You yeah. have Zoom, right? Yeah, yeah but. The thing so shut, the, shut, shut, not, not the, not shut everything down it's, and then turn on turn on your Zoom. Shut okay. everything down. Turn off your computer. Start it back not up. Zoom. Only open up Zoom. There you go. <laughs> I have faith. You have Bam, faith. Where are you? Well, I don't want to discourage like married, you. And he's, he's called pick. before and didn't have this yeah. problem. But he must have accidentally shut it down before. But the other times, I think <laughs> yeah, he was calling from like an iPhone or whatever. He's probably trying from a computer at home. But anyway, if you call folks and you're watching us now on uh, on uh, 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 YouTube, for instance, or better, yeah, YouTube's a good example. Yeah. Uh, just uh, be sure you turn <laughs> off the browser that you're watching the show on. It goes, ah, oh, Pam. Hey, Pam. Now, do here, you know now, Do you know John Ewing? Can yeah, you please yeah. call him? <laughs> yeah, we're sending. We're Pam. We're going to send you out to uh, uh, John Ewing's house. Wait a minute, in now, Marine County. There are no lights there, though. <laughs> Turn on the lights, Pam. We, we need have a light. <laughs> oh, there we go. We need to turn on the lights. Boy, we're just going to send Pam out to everybody's house. <laughs> She's your new engineer. See, folks, yeah. the, thing, the thing that you call a browser is the thing you watch at YouTube on, okay, that you actually watch the program on. Zoom is a program you use to call this program. Don't kill Zoom, but kill the browser. And what I do is I go on my phone and I I watch the show and then I I go on Zoom on here. So I'm watching it here. So when it comes on, I just turn it down and I'm fine. I never yeah. even look at yeah. YouTube yeah. on here. Uh, Jeff, are you there? Here. Are you there, yeah. Jeff? Huh? Yeah. Jeff, are you oh, there? He's there. Are you there, He's Jeff? There. Yeah, Pam was there. She's fine. He's fine. He's got light. He's got he's online yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah, she went to turn the lights on, I guess. You're doing good. I can you see everything okay, Jeff? 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 <laughs> can you hear us? Yeah, well then just you're fine. You don't have to do anything. Look into the camera and talk to us, Jeff. <laughs> Oh, oh boy. God, this is a night of tech support. How's that? Good. Yeah, that's fine. You're, you're, you're fine. fine. You're fine. You've been fine from the beginning, Jeff. I know. I had to help with my wife. Yeah, Pe Pam set it all up. You're you're yeah. ready to go. God bless mm -hmm. you, Pam, if you're listening. Yeah. You we need we need one more of you. Yeah. Yeah, we need somebody out on the west coast. Yeah. Listen, could yeah. you get? Is it possible, Brian, that you get in your car, your really fast car, and go up to Nevada? Yeah, I mean, want to. He looks like he's got a nice house. He lives in more Marin. Yeah, in Nevada. Oh, it looks like he's got a nice house. Yeah, yeah. he does look like Phil. He could be. be yeah. Phil swim I'm gonna put something together. Yeah. Together. yeah. <clears throat> but I, John, don't feel bad about it. Just, uh, just here's here's. When you come on, turn off the thing you're watching the show on. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. People people put on their computer, they put the show on to watch yeah. and no one to call in, and then they call yeah. in the same time and it's still going. And Zoom is a separate program. 
You yep. start the Zoom, you go to our, our, uh, our site or whatever using Zoom, then you turn off the browser. Right? Yeah. Just turn off the browser. That's all you got to do. Why, that's why I like doing it on maybe, my phone. Maybe I'm, I'm using a technical term here nobody understands when I say browser. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. Could that be? Just some, turn off YouTube. Okay. Turn off YouTube. Okay. John, John is <clears throat> is trying again here under the name John. So it must be a different computer. Hello. Oh, Hello. Maybe iPhone. Yeah. He's using his iPhone. All right. Okay. Now you, you see. Hello, John. Are you there? Let's see your face. Oh, Pam's there with him. Oh, Pam. yeah, I see. Yeah. Pam's there with him. <laughs> oh, we have another Pam. This is great. Mm. Oh, so, boy. John, we can't see your face and you're muted. See, plantain shutters. Well, don't, plantain don't, shutters don't, is don't, a key. Don't, don't try to help, Alan, because you'll only screw this up. Uh, 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 John, are you Pam? there? Pam? John, are you there? John, can you hear me? There we go. Unmute. Unmute. Okay, unmute yourself, All right. John. I'm there, on my cell phone now. There you go. Yeah, but you see, here's what, here's what you, you need. Other, your other computer should let, be fine. Let, let me explain it to you for your other computer. You use <laughs> Zoom to talk to us, right? You get this? You use Zoom. Yeah, I'm on my laptop. I'm I'm an ancient mariner, man. I'm well, just being minute, honest. No, but the, forget about that. This is an easy deal. You watched it. You're watching the show on YouTube, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. When we come on, close the browser out. Kill close it. YouTube. You know, yeah, just okay. shut it down. All you yeah, need. This is how naive I am. I'm not even accustomed to what a browser is. That I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't listen to Alex. I, I was, it's no, just I, yeah, yeah, I was saying you. Turn off YouTube. Okay. I, I was saying. Turn off YouTube. Whatever you're watching it with, turn that off, and then call. Uh, then go on Zoom, and then you're perfect. Or All right. Well, that's, I Jeff took Stein. your advice, Brian. He's an expert okay. at this. See, uh, that's Thank funny. Thank you, guys. Because when I say the word browser, I'm amazed that most people don't, some people don't know what that means. But Jeff, <laughs> who's right next to you in the picture here, uh, he has the same problem you do in, in trying to figure out how to kill yep. the sound. And it's really just don't open your browser. Or when we go on, get rid of the browser. Like, don't watch it on the browser. Alec, don't say browser. Well, what, say what, what's a better word? <laughs> YouTube. YouTube. Everybody's watching it on YouTube. Okay. Just tell them don't go on YouTube. Turn, turn, turn it off on YouTube. Turn off YouTube. You can do yep. that. You know, that's an easy thing. I can turn off YouTube. I don't go on YouTube. You know something? I go, is on, it, am I, I go am on GabNet and watch it. Yeah. Don't confuse people. Yeah, don't, now you're just confusing them, Alec. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Well, you're, you're the only person that uses gap now. Am I? Am I? Am I? Maybe I'm. I'm wrong about something here, but maybe I'm. I'm. Uh, there are people that just don't know. I mean, t two out of the uh, three other people that are here don't know how to use a browser, right? You know, or even don't know in, the name in, of in John's case, <laughs> doesn't even know what I mean when I say browser. So my question is. Have they maybe not made computers easy enough for people to use? <laughs> no, you know, I mean, oh, a kid today can, you know, just blah, 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 you know. But an older person like your age, my age, Jeff's age, um, you know, don't know how to do this sort of thing. Let's try an easier term, Alex. How do you get on the internet? Do you use Safari? Oh, please, can we talk about something no, no, else? No, 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 don't, don't, don't. You're going to just confuse them. No, I, you're, you're no. the you're the worst. He knows how to get on the internet. That, that, you're not joining my tech support group here. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yep, you knew how to explain things. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can we talk about fun stuff? Yeah. yeah. Well, okay. What What do you have that's fun? Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Well, come up with something. Did fun. Did you hear Richard Lewis died? <laughs> Yes, I did. I did. <laughs> exactly. Who Alan. said? Who said? Who's Richard Lewis? Oh, Alan. Alan. I I heard what you said about him. I'm sorry for the he, loss of your friend. But other than that, I didn't know who he was. Usually, you Alex, Google Alan, him and you'll see all kinds of things about who he was. Oh, uh, here we go. Here's entertainment. Here's entertainment for ten minutes. Now, here's ten minutes on the show. Hey, dance for us. Oh, yeah, babe. Oh, oh, Do okay. it. Do it. <laughs> Such a ham. She yeah, yeah. she is such a ham. She had a great joke tonight. 
not a joke, but something she did. I forget what it was. And she did. I just like, oh my god, your sense of humor is so good. I don't remember when I said that. <clears throat> oh, that was really funny. No. Okay. Okay, get out. How Say, tall? How tall is she now? Uh, about that tall. <laughs> Well, I'm six four, so it's hard to. She's remember we went through this. She's at my chest. So. Okay, so I'm you six, mean you don't do the deal where you go by the I door frame and you mark no, the pencil? No, every... no, no, no. Oh no. man, no. <laughs> don't think you're probably still in our house. No, no. I'm a nipple. <laughs> she likes that word. Nipple. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, you'll get to use it a lot in your life. <laughs> you'll find it. <laughs> See? So, so okay, Brian, so, Brian, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. wait a minute, wait a minute, Brian. You spent all this money to have your house built up and fancy. You know, they make locks for doors. I know, I just locked her out. Hey, no, Charlie, Charlie. Actually, this came up today, the story. Yeah. So we just had our house, you know, like, year two years ago they redid everything right yeah. so they redid my garage and we had a pole in the not a pole not that kind of pole alex we had a pillar sorry a pillar in the garage for the last six years we've been measuring the kids bam 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 yeah. i told the guys the construction guy do not touch that pillar yeah. i don't want that pillar touched because it has all the measurements on the kids the last five or six years I came back home after that day, and it was all white with new drywall on it. Well, at least they didn't remove it. <laughs> so, yes, Charlie, we had to restart that. But, my God, it was like we had yeah. – Adrian's height was just jumping like crazy every year. But how oh, tall is how tall is she now? I don't know. She's she's tall. Is she, is she over five feet now? I guess. You, no. you guess? Not five, no, from not your five chest feet. to the top of your head. Dad. You're a bad dad, you know. I could tell you my kids' heights every second of the day. So we put all the heights and we put the dates, and then I put my height and I put forever. Yeah. <laughs> That's the date. And the good thing is, probably all your kids know your PIN number to your bank account too. Now, now uh, you're you're the the mother of your child. Yes, your, domestic partner. Your significant other. Yeah, okay. That's a good one. Significant other. Not lately. It's domestic partner. Domestic partner. <laughs> oh, I guess yeah. there's trouble in paradise. But anyway. Uh, She's been watching these shows. That's why. Oh. Maybe that's why. <laughs> she's tall for Vietnamese. Yes. Yeah. You, is she is she's tall for Vietnamese. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah she's okay. tall for Vietnamese. Okay, so she's not short. Right. Okay. <clears throat> so with you being tall. The, yeah. Adrian's going to be at least eight feet tall. Yeah, that's yeah. what I'm hoping for. Yeah, freak. Yeah. The circus. Uh, John, you seem to be settled in now. Are you comfortable? <laughs> John, yeah, who's I'm, with I'm, you? Who's I'm with you? Using, that's my wife, Maureen. Mm -hmm. Oh, Maureen. Pam and Maureen. Now we have two <laughs> people that we need. Am I able to show my wife? Yeah. Well, no, right. no, no. Did no. she sign the release? Yeah, I don't look at yeah, she's too embarrassed. Forget it. I, I would be. She doesn't sign the release for two, but now she. Oh, now wait a minute. Does she know more about computers than you do? No, I know less. Oh, yes. okay. <laughs> then we're really in <laughs> trouble. Mind. Yeah, you're you're in trouble tonight, everybody. Because we've got Jeff, who has the same problems you have, but he has Pam, who is basically knows a little more about computers than he does. That's, right, Jeff? That's right. That's I know. A lot. I know. <laughs> You know, so, uh, you know, it, it, uh, it I, I, I guess I'm, you get to a point, you know, is, uh, I always talk about the fact that I don't watch football. And the reason I don't watch football is I've never been able to figure out how it's played. And people say to me, what, you don't understand football? And I go, no. And they go, well, why, do, how, why don't you? And I said, well, I had some of the best people. I like Jerry Rice came on my show once and I admitted to him I didn't watch football because I didn't understand how it was played and he then tried to explain it to me and just like everybody else who ever tr tried to explain uh, football to me they start out in the middle yeah you know they don't start out at the, with the bait so they go well you got to get four downs 
wait a minute, Down's on a duck. <laughs> what? I don't know. You know, so they so the same thing is I guess true with computers. I mean, I'm telling you, kill the browser, and you don't even know what a browser <laughs> is. You just know that this magic box you bought turns on, and sometimes you can make it work. You know, so I, I'm making like uh, certain determinations here that probably and certain assumptions I shouldn't in explaining it. You know. I know. Don't don't judge me. I want to compliment you on your Bobby Slayton interview I watched the other day. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Where did you see it, that? It was was, was that a, you went back into the old shows and watched them? It just, it popped up on my uh, Facebook page or something, and uh, I enjoyed it immensely because I'm an old San Franciscan that used to go to some of those yeah. shows, and. Uh, I enjoyed it. That's all. He won't do. And it. I am an antique on the computer, man. Yeah, he won't do. Com he won't do. Um, he won't do um, uh, interviews with me anymore. Not that he doesn't like me. He just doesn't want to do them. Period. For anybody. Yeah. He's like pretty much retired from the business. And I was yeah. watching. If you go online and you look up Bobby Slayton on YouTube, there's some great performances by him. Uh, and I was watching one the other night, and I was, you know, I, I know all his material, and I was laughing my ass off. Hmm. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any ass left. That's why I'm having trouble sitting in this chair. <laughs> but no, but I watched it, and he, I said to myself, you know, this is the most brilliant stand-up comic in America. I mean, if you want to say, what is a stand-up comic? You show somebody Bobby Slayton, you know, and uh -huh. uh, I. Uh, I watched these things and I went, he was brilliant. And to think that he's not really doing much stand up anymore when he developed it into this fine art. And if you don't do it for a while, you know, you kind of lose your chops. This is like, uh, I watched an episode with uh, Seinfeld and he was talking to Howard Stern, who really doesn't know that much about comedy. Uh, but he asked him, he said, do you, do you have to constantly perform and so on? He says, yeah, if you don't do it, it's like going to the gym. You have to go to the gym at least once a week or a couple of times a week to keep the muscle going, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And that's and and so I worry that Bobby, you know, has isn't doing this on a regular basis anymore, and he's probably losing some of it. I imagine he gets halfway through his act and doesn't remember it, you know. So uh, mm -hmm. it, it's 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 a muscle you got to keep working on, and I'm I'm really sad about that with Bobby because he was so good at what he did. You know, so I'm glad you enjoyed the shows that we did with them. There are a couple of them there somewhere. I maybe should play them again just for the hell of it some night. Mm -hmm. You know. But anyway, um, so anybody have anything you want to talk about? Okay. Uh, the Supreme Court today said that they would uh, they would they want to hear the case for Donald Trump uh, having executive uh, uh, exemption. When he's in office, when he was in office for any criminal action, uh, I don't know why they're even having to listen to this case. It's obvious that you can't give some guy complete immunity, because if you give him complete immunity, he can literally commit murder and get away with it. You know, uh, a president can't be entirely immune from from prosecution if he mm -hmm. commits a crime. And I don't know that they aren't going to come out with that determination, but maybe they want to have a hearing on it and go through the whole process so that there's never a question again about this. So we'll see what happens. Mm. But the other good piece of news was Donald Trump went to the, uh, to the appeals court and said, is it okay if I just give you $100,000? <laughs> no way. And they said... Insane. No, there's no way you can give us just a hundred thousand dollars. What a creep! You, you got to come up with a complete amount plus, I think it's ten percent or something. Yeah. Uh, in order to bring this up in in court, otherwise he has to turn that money, that uh, what is it? It's up to about four and a half uh, thousand, four, uh, four and a half million dollars, yeah. four hundred fifty million dollars, fifty three, I think it is in order to pay off the fine. But he also needs to come up with that money if he wants to appeal it. And mm -hmm. he's, he, he's not going to get just be, get off for 100000 Does that mean he only has $100,000 left? Is that what it means? That's all he's going to loan him. Huh? 
Uh, he calls himself a negotiator. <laughs> he tried. All his friends are willing to loan him is a hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> I doubt he has even that. I think he's. I'll tell you something. If he doesn't come up with this money, the state of New York is going after him for it and is going to repossess some of his buildings. And Eugene Carroll Tower. You know, Eugene Carroll Tower. Yeah, well, that shot. The, the tower, Trump Tower, I didn't realize this. I have no idea what things cost. Is only been estimated by the state of New York as being worth uh, $160 million. Mm -hmm. So he can get rid of that, and then they got a building downtown. That's probably another hundred million. So uh, they get those, and let's see here. Then they've got a golf course, of course, out in New Jersey. But of course, we can't. I don't think New York can repossess that because it's not in New York State. So they just have to go after all the properties he owns in New York, all the businesses he owns in New York. And, and repossess them, and they still probably won't come up with the four hundred fifty thousand million dollars. Yes, uh, Alan. So I don't think it's fair, uh, although in his case I do. But I don't think it's fair to say that in order to appeal a ruling, you have to come up with whatever that amount is. I think you should be able to, like any one of us, none of us would be able to come up with ten thousand dollars if we if that was us right away. Um, I think you should he should be afforded the appeal without putting anything up or maybe putting ten percent up or something. I don't know that but, I don't disagree with mm -hmm. you. Okay. I, I just don't think it's I disagree. Fair. You disagree? <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah, because all somebody to do is keep appealing and appealing and appealing and never pay the money to the people. Oh, I'm, just saying, I'm just saying the yeah. first appeal, Charlie. Maybe he puts ten percent up and does his appeal. And if he wins, then he gets some money back. If he loses, then he has to put the rest of it up. How about this? Don't slander the person in the first place. Or don't no, commit well, the don't commit the crime in the first place. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, there you go. And well, after you've been fined one time, don't do it again. Uh, yeah, but you know, once he sets precedence that somebody is going to have a landlord tenant dispute or something, and they're going to get ruled against. And they're going to have to come up with a fine before they can have an appeal, which may, you know, change the whole thing. So it's a, it's a strange thing. I've never heard of having to come up with the money before you. Oh, appeal. I've heard, I've heard, of, I've heard oh, of it. Yeah. That's that's the that's the usual the thing they do. I, I don't know much about civil. Does. I don't know much. I get a bail. I can't come up with the money for bail. I'm gonna have to spend the time in jail before my truck. Mm -hmm. uh, laws laws are changing to protect the innocent. So. But I'm saying, wait, wait, you got to remember that, that, that for years, Donald for Trump. Decades. Donald Trump's been getting away with a lot of things you and I would not be able to get away yeah. with. For instance, in all these other cases, I don't think there was any bail. Was there? I don't think so. Now they, if we did the same crime, there would be bail, wouldn't there? I'd have to pay bail. Well, yeah, yeah bail is is for a criminal thing, you know, um, because it's rather the well. There are four crim. There are what four criminal cases against him? Four criminal yeah, cases. Well, if they were against us, we'd all be sitting in jail waiting for our yep. terms. To That's come up. correct. That is correct. So in his case, I don't. I think he ought to put up the whole amount. But in all well, fairness, he, he ought to put up the whole amount. He doesn't have the whole amount. That's yeah, the point. Mr. It's Rich keep Mr. going up and up and up. Mr. Got Bucks doesn't have bucks. Okay? You can't file bankruptcy and get out of those either. You get a fine for doing something wrong, you cannot get that put away turned uh, you know put aside because of a bankruptcy. And and nobody's going to reverse that he, and if he can't go and appeal it because he doesn't have the money to appeal it, he's in a lot of trouble now. He's in more oh, yeah. trouble than he'd like to let people know. You know. And he's got less money than he'd like to let. So I'm know. just for the hell of it, just so he can be on a fair, even ground. Anybody want to donate some money here so we can send it to Trump <laughs> and and uh, perhaps help him out just a, a little bit? Just give know. it to Phil. Phil has a direct line to that that deposit place. Yeah, that, you know, uh, uh, Jeff Bezos the other day said in the business news that Bezos. if Trump was worth billions, he could write a check for this $450 million. Yeah like that. Jeff Bezos yeah. could write it. He, oh, absolutely. 
Yeah. But him and Trump don't like each other anyhow. But well, Trump. Jeff Trump. Could, let's say thing. Trump was a three billionaire. Okay, at three billion dollars. Boom. He could write a check right now. If he had Absolutely. two billion, he could write a check right now. Absolutely. If he had one billion, he could write a check right now. He would be a, you know. But the fact is. He doesn't like that he's been held to account for all his problems. Well, you know, yeah. I mean, th these things, believe it or not, like the New York case, this yeah. thing's been hanging fire for 10 years, 15 yeah. years. We all knew he was a crook and that he yeah. was he was not uh, saying, he was not telling the truth about how much money he had. And mm -hmm. it was terrible. It was just terrible. And uh, it's finally come up to, it's finally caught up to him. That's the that's the problem. It's it's all a matter of catching up with you. Yeah, so. time, time has come for him. Yep, that's right. That's about right. time he's got away with it his whole life, public, private, everything. Now here's what bothers me. You know, uh, I Marjorie watches MSNBC all day long. I don't know why. You know, it, it every time <laughs> I watch them, they're always it's always the same three stories over and over again in different in different flavors depending on the day but if you may channel. remember when we go back to 2016 donald trump didn't buy much time on radio or television for ads right and what was the reason he didn't because he, he didn't need to he was going to win didn't no. need to he didn't yeah. need to no. because yeah. on the, tv 24 7 anyway msnbc cnn even Fox, we're talking about him 24-7. They yep. couldn't stop it, okay? Yep. It was hilarious, some of the things he said, so they couldn't stop it. And and uh, they're going to reelect him. They're going to reelect him. Because he doesn't have to do any, uh, buy any time on these stations at all, you know? He doesn't have to buy time in advertising. And oddly enough, I mean, one of the places he should buy time is MSNBC because that's where the audience is that doesn't like him and he could run ads that maybe make people like him. Uh, but he, he's, and he, they, they're going to get, they could get him reelected even if he doesn't have a penny to spend for advertising. And, and when are they going to learn the mistake they made the first time? That's my problem. And I watch him and I go, well, you guys fucking shut up. Just don't even, if you don't talk about him, he dies in the absence of publicity, okay? And the only people then that'll be talking about him is Fox News. And the only people who watch Fox News, the people who would vote for him anyway. But. Hmm? But. Who, who said butt? <laughs> oh, Kevin. I'm sorry. I thought I was off the air. I, I, Kevin, I but. I thought I was off the air. <laughs> well, uh, close your browser. Is my browser on? <laughs> oh, no. My, my brain isn't on. I know that. So. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. I'll mute myself when I yell at What's my so wife. bad about it is that one of the first thing he's going to do is arrest any executive of a news show that, that, that says anything <clears throat> bad about him. Well, so well, they get him reelected, they're all going to be thrown in jail, except for well, because he because he wakes up in the morning and says, "What would Putin do?" Yeah. <laughs> did we hear that? Did you hear it in the news today about that's what's her name, Bobbitt? Her son got arrested. Oh, you talking Look, about the co congresswoman from yeah, Colorado? Bobert, yeah. Bobert, not Bobbitt, 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 Bobbitt. Bob 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 everybody drink, everybody drink, everybody drink. <laughs> He's our, this is great. Uh, Alan's our new Phil. We have the personality of Phil with Alan, and we got the look with John. This is great. He does look a little like Phil. He does. He's yeah, it got the glasses and everything. He might even be Jewish for all we know. Are you Jewish, John? Negatory. See? Oh, oh well. Leave the guy oh. alone. Come on. Don't and and on, on the other no, hand, the similarity is right. with Phil Meyer. We weren't picking on with you. Phil Meyer, we with Phil Meyer, we don't like to admit he's Jewish. So, you know. <laughs> That's like the whole Jewish community. Yeah. What? I don't like to admit he's Phil. <laughs> the whole Jewish community doesn't want to admit that he's Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know enough about Phil because I'm new to the group. Well, if you don't well, know much about thing. Phil, let me, just, let me just say this. That if Hitler had met Phil, <laughs> he'd have been best friends. He would have stopped there and felt satisfied. 
before he would have committed suicide. He could have saved the world. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I mean, it just—it's just, it's just it, it, they've got to stop talking about him. I don't mind talking about him here because who listens to this goddamn show? I'm not affecting anything, right? In fact, you know. Trump doesn't care whether we talk about him here because he didn't even know who I am, you know. So, anyway, it's 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 really, <laughs> and we're getting in that same situation again, but MSNBC never learns. Mm. You know, so, do you agree with me on that, Charlie? You tend to defend MSNBC when you can. I do. I don't oh, watch oh, MSNBC. Oh, 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 good. Oh, good. Terrific. <laughs> Because, you know, when people as liberal as Charlie and I are as left-wing as Charlie and I, I don't like the word liberal, as, as left-wing as Charlie and I are, are not for MSNBC, then they're doing something wrong. You know? They're doing something wrong. <clears throat> Let me see here. What else was in the news? Let's see. There, was a, there were fires in Texas. <laughs> yeah. We haven't had rain in a long time. Yeah, fires in really? Texas, and everybody goes, I wonder why this is happening. <laughs> you know? Um, it's like a guy who, you know, says, I wonder how I got her pregnant. <laughs> you know? It's a little thing called global warming. Yeah. Oh, well, if it's global warming, how come there's a fire? Well, I mean, you know, I mean, it, it, global warming is an, is a, a phrase applying to a certain scientific set of principles which set the planet in negative motion, shall we say. Oh, hey, the funniest story, I think, of the week, and I feel bad about it because I was, I was looking forward to this thing. The, the um, moon lander they sent to the moon, isn't that redundant? When I say moon lander, you know where it landed, right? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. on the moon. It toppled over on its side. Right. And they said, oh, no problem. We can still take pictures, you know. Yeah, like this. They <laughs> <laughs> just move the picture. Yeah. Like that, all you do is but, but it, seem, it seems yeah. that, that their high band antenna was on the side that was facing the ground. <laughs> and of course. Murphy's so basically, they sent, a, they sent a few pictures that looked like, uh, I don't know, a bowl full of oatmeal, something like that. <laughs> and uh, they say it's going to run out of power in, uh, in a week. You know why it's going to run out of power in a week? Anybody want to guess? The solar, the solar array is also on the side that isn't facing the sun. Oh, no. Tesla batteries. That's it, bad. It, it, yeah, right. <laughs> What about the ever ready bunny batteries? They didn't put the red right batteries in it. Well, know. they would have done better if they'd done that, you know. But yeah. I mean, I, they they should have done. You know, it's small enough. They should have put something where if it, that did happen, they could kind of set up motors that push uh, some legs yeah. out of it to push it back up. I mean, yeah. this thing wasn't supposed to have a long life anyway. But at least get your money's worth for crying out loud. Oh, they couldn't oh. find the parts on eBay. That's right, and they, and they keep trying. They keep trying to give excuses of wh why the thing isn't working. You know, it's going to work better soon. Like what? When it dies? Who built yeah. it? Uh, intuitive. What's it called? Uh, intuitive something. It's a it's private company. A division of Tesla. Yeah, it, it's a private company, and they paid uh, SpaceX to send it up. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Because SpaceX is is just, I think, you you got to agree, even though you hate Elon Musk. Te SpaceX is pretty cool, right, Charlie? Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, I sent you guys the those those videos of some of the landings of those rockets. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, yeah, I see them really all, cool all the time on YouTube. Yeah, the yeah. best day was the day two of them landed at the same time. Yeah, that's the video I sent you, but I know you never look at anything anyway. So well, no, I know, I know, yeah. I knew the video, so that's oh, why yeah. I didn't watch it. And then they had a camera pretty close to where it was land. One of them was landing, and uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. Do yeah. we have to turn the browser on to watch it? No. Watch it. Quit picking on me, man. No, yeah. No, just, uh, 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 oh, you're one to talk. <laughs> You've been picking on him all night, Brian. <laughs> hey. Alex, is that something you'd want to see? It's all in fun. You want to you want to go see those things land? Would that be cool? 
Oh, I would love to see that. Yeah. Yeah, so would I. Well, Are can you, you buying? That? Is there some place you can go watch that? Well, actually, you could probably watch it in Texas, couldn't you? Because don't those things land in te near Texas on a on a barge or something like that? At the end? No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Some, some of them are out near some of the, some of the rockets take off in Florida. But the, there there's that entire moon base they have down in uh, in uh, um, Texas, and I'm sure they land there. You know, maybe maybe all the fires in Texas, maybe they were started by Tesla landing rockets and, <laughs> and the and new they fell over and the new catching thing. See, they, they right now they land, okay, but they actually have a thing that they shoot the rockets up from. You know, the gurney, and that same gurney can now the newer ones can have the rocket come down and they can catch it. Hmm. Wow. Yeah. Is that what that's called? No. It, hmm. it, yeah, it's called a browser. Anyway. <laughs> no. uh, I meant to tell, to, talk, to mention that when you were talking about Trump and his stuff, that, that Illinois voted that he can't be on the ballot in Illinois because of the 14th Amendment. Well, we'll see what happens with that. Hmm. You know. I don't know that. See, I don't care what they do for the primary, okay? Because uh, you know me in primaries. I think they suck. I he's going to win the primary. Oh, well, definitely. Well, so what? So what? That That's doesn't right. mean he's going to win the presidency. No, it doesn't. You know, and the fact is that, that you, you don't, un there are a number of people who are not going to vote for him because they're Republicans, but they don't like Trump. Now, they're not going to vote for Biden, but they're just not going to vote. Okay, so anytime they don't vote, that's one vote taken away from, from Trump. On the other hand, Biden, in spite of the fact that people are pissed off at him because of the way he's handling mm -hmm. Gaza, uh, I think will still vote for him. I think, I think he can win this election, even though <laughs> I don't think he's got the strength to go out. It's pretty easy in 2020. I'm sure he can win it now. Oh, yeah, my God. What? You went, oh, my God, Jeff. What about, oh, my God. You said that it could go immediately today. What could go immediately today? That Trump could win if, if, if they had the opportunity to vote today. No, I've heard that it's going the other way now. Yeah, I've heard that, too. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah. I mean, I've, I, don't, I don't think that Trump can, can win it because I think— you got to realize it, these are primaries and who's voting in these primaries uh the trump's winning stupid republicans okay yeah, by, by the way there's not very many black people voting in the republican primary so he's got all of those black votes out there that he's going to get in november well did you see what he said about but he the, relates to black people he he's, he's getting a, he's arrested a, he says black yeah black people relate to him because they know what it's yeah. like to get arrested. That's and he's got well, gold. He arrested. And he's got gold tennis shoes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I come on, come on, Charlie. You you you're out there Wait, selling tinnies with him, aren't you, Wait, Charlie? No. Hold on a second. You can get bro? the come on, Charlie. You got an ankle bracelet that detects where you're going, right? <laughs> you're throwing down the tinnies. What's up, bro? <laughs> You can get the blackest <laughs> black person in America. I deep deep, deep ghetto, okay? And show them uh, those shoes the right and, and offer them those shoes for free and they won't take them. Okay? Hmm. Those are a white man's idea of what a black yeah. man would want to wear. Exactly. <laughs> but if they're worth money, they probably they'd probably take them and sell them. Uh, <laughs> Any anybody would. I'm not saying, you know, anybody would. And that's what's going to happen. Somebody's going to say, oh, they're worth money because Trump owes them. They'll sell them for a while, and then they'll become pieces of shit. Like you know, that. they're made in China, so, you know. Yeah. Oh, by the way, let me, let me mention the people who are listening, all three of you, uh, that uh, <laughs> Amy will not be on tonight or the rest oh, of this no. week. She won't be on this week. Didn't she tell? That's right. She mentioned that last she, Friday. Yeah. She did mention it. Okay. The reason is, is she's uh, working at polling places and so on. Yep, and, and quite frankly, I'm very, I'm, I'm very proud of her, and and uh, Same so, here. so uh, think of it as you know a way that we can all support her in this, and 
be back with her in a week, but uh, she will not be on tonight. Probably lives close enough. He can take her donuts. Huh? I get off. I get off by eight, uh, five o'clock the first three days, but on Tuesday I work six a.m. to eight p.m. Well, actually about until, six a.m. Uh, to ten p.m. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. A long day on Tuesday. Yeah, she's worked them. She's there all day every day. <laughs> wow. So my so my daughter, you'll make pole dancing jokes, but you don't make any pole joke about Amy. <laughs> I work the working pole the poles. <laughs> That would be a funny bit, though, if we showed somebody dancing at an election site and called it pole dancing. You know, you know, we're supposed yeah. to come up. We're supposed to come up with an interesting opening on Super Tuesday, so maybe I'll use that. I'll uh, put a pole in the back of the truck and have one of the old ladies. What walk do you mean interesting? <laughs> the poles are open. <laughs> open. Oh, Super Tuesday is what? Throw your dollar bills here. When is when is Super Tuesday? Tuesday. This coming Tuesday. Is this coming Tuesday is Super Tuesday? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. Really? Well, I should have That's my... Nice to work in the poll. I had to That's spot Tuesday, our trailer. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Tuesday spot, our, spot our trailer this morning at 6.45 because we don't get our regular spots. Oh, gee. So well, maybe I, got our, maybe, I, maybe I should do a special uh, uh, Super Tuesday show. <laughs> nah. Why? Nah. <laughs> nah. Why? Why? You know. We're expecting. We know what the results are going to be. Well, you don't know in California. Well, in California, is uh, Nikki Haley still on the ballot in California? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So she everybody's on it, but it's going to be a light turnout. I think our county's only expecting. It's going to be a light turnout because nobody really cares. You know, I mean, do away with the primary system. No, I need the job. Well, I was happy to see that Biden got hurt a little bit by the. You know, all the people who v didn't vote, period, uncommitted in Michigan. Because well, they're uncommitted for Trump, too. Yeah. Yep. Well, you have the crossover issue as well. You know, the, the, the yeah. Republicans aren't letting you crossover vote. And I think that's what part of the issue is, that if you can't, you can't crossover vote from Republican back the other way. Yeah. You have to re-register. So that's, I think, part of the skewed numbers. Oh, okay. Well, on Friday, mm -hmm. the government will start shutting down too because of the Republicans. Well, it's, they're not going to. Yeah. Oh. The okay. Republicans have decided to uh, not to not to keep it, it to let it keep going. Oh. Okay. Uh, as an emergency measure, but you know we shouldn't let them get away with that. We should allow them to close down the government, and then we can blame it on them for a change. Absolutely. But every time they always, it's like nobody wants to do anything. It's just amazing. I mean, you, we're all sitting out here licking our balls because these guys aren't doing anything, and they don't want to. You know, so what the hell? You know. Yeah, the Republicans screaming, screaming for the last umpteen years about the crisis at the border, and they yeah. vote down a bill to to fix the crisis at the border. Yeah, a bipartisan bill at that. Yeah. Because they won't get credit for it. That's right. Well, no, because Trump doesn't want them to do it, so he can then run. Say, right. see, so, Biden right. didn't do anything about he the border. He thinks he's going to get in and get the credit, but he ain't getting in. He's you know, he, get by the way, the way is it I just want to see him lose again. Is it tomorrow? They're both showing up at the at the border. Yeah, yeah, I think so. It, it's tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think I What's think Biden. Practice? I think Biden should challenge Trump to have a debate at the border. Absolutely. A live debate at the border. In Spanish, so the people coming across it. <laughs> they, they should all shoot for the fence right that right at that same time. <laughs> Everybody head for the fence. <laughs> See if this damn thing holds up. Everybody uh, grab the two old guys over there and take them back to Mexico. Yeah, exactly. I think Biden ought to challenge him to do push-ups. I'll bet Biden does more than he does. Yeah. Probably. Could be. Well, Biden, bike. Biden does Just run. ride a bike. Doesn't he run every day or something like that? I mean, yeah. Trump's only 215 pounds. He's in great shape. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 Well, I hate it. I'm 250. Okay. The theme is playing. All right. All right. All right. Jeez, almighty. So there's no, uh, there's no, um, 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 uh, okay. uh, 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 intersection. Uh, yeah, no so why do we need to get off? Yeah, well, we don't you know, need yeah. to get off, but I'm, on, I'm, two, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I want to go to sleep. I get to go to sleep early tonight. 
Anyway, thank you so much, Charlie, for being here. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, John, Alan. Thank you, uh, Jeffrey. Jeffrey, I love Jeffrey. <laughs> Jeffrey. Uh, and thank, yeah. thank you, John. Don't let this inhibit you from calling, okay? <laughs> just know that you probably got to just, if it's easier for you, use your cell phone and, you know, or your iPad or whatever. Okay? I'll figure it out then. Yeah, you'll figure it out. And uh, Kevin, thank you so much. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you. And there they go, folks. That's our citizen panel. Oops, I hit my microphone for tonight. Uh, we'll see you again. Let's see, there's no, no Amy tonight. We'll see you again tomorrow. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody.